The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. Guys, today what we're gonna be doing is something a little bit different on the channel. Obviously, you're gonna be watching some draft champions as you guys saw there. Um, just a little gameplay uh, between me and uh, a random opponent, nothing spectacular, but um, I enjoyed the gameplay of this one anyway. But what I wanna do today is actually talk a little bit about fantasy football. Um, you guys know I've done a lot of fantasy content on this channel in the past. I decided not to do any specific uh, just fantasy rankings and things like that this season, mostly because it's really difficult to do it all by yourself. Um, and, and like the podcast and stuff like that, I enjoyed making it, but it would take me a really long time to prepare for it. And, uh, you know, it was just difficult to, to make it happen on a weekly basis without having it fall behind or, um, you know, things like that. So what I decided to do here was actually just go ahead and uh, start making some random content because I've got so many Madden games and things like that. I know people like to watch that, but it's not really that exciting to just sit and, and you know, talk about the gameplay that you're watching. Although, look at Emmett go. Look at Emmett Smith. Look at that beast. Don't get caught, though, Emmett. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, uh, like I said, it's not that exciting to talk about the gameplay. So uh, what I want to do today is actually just kind of break down the Panthers and the Broncos game that's going to be happening here tonight on Thursday Night Football, the first game of the year, Super Bowl rematch. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the fantasy implications of this game and give you guys my prediction at the end. So why don't we start off by taking a look at the Carolina Panthers. Obviously, this team is the defending NFC champions. A very, very good offense this past year. Can Cam Newton, quarterback MVP this past year, absolute beast. He is definitely somebody that you're going to want to have in your starting lineup, although I will say this might be the toughest matchup that Cam faces all season for a number of reasons. Uh, number one, obviously, the Broncos got to him quite a bit in the Super Bowl this past year. Uh, the pressure got to him. He really wasn't too effective. Uh, he was only 18 of 41 in the Super Bowl. He threw no touchdowns and threw a pick as well. So not a great performance by him there against this Broncos D. Now, obviously, the Broncos D has gone through some changes, but a lot of it is actually run support related. So I'm not quite as worried about that for uh, for the Broncos stopping Cam Newton. But what I will say is that uh, Cam is going to have other problems, even beyond the uh, the obvious matchup consideration. Because if you take a look at the wide receivers that he's going to be throwing to, We've got Kelvin Benjamin, who is coming back from an ACL injury, and he doesn't appear to be ready to take a full complement of snaps, uh, and that seems to be a little bit of a problem right now for this Carolina offense. Now, Devin Funches, Philly Brown are still there. Obviously, Ted Ginn is the guy that you're probably going to be most excited about out of this group if there was going to be somebody, I guess. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin could potentially do something, but I've heard from multiple sources now that he's actually not going to get a full amount of snaps. So that's a little bit of a concern, obviously. Um, now, Greg Olson is the guy that you uh, really want in this passing game for this, for this specific matchup. Um, obviously, Cam Newton... You know, you can start him if you if you really want to. I think he's a low-end quarterback one this week. Greg Olson, obviously a starter on a week-to-week -week basis. One of the top two or three tight ends in all of fantasy football, I would say. Definitely one of the most consistent guys. But in this specific matchup, I, I like what he can bring to the table. I like the fact that he is definitely going to be a, a top target of Cam Newton's here. He's one of the only guys on the roster that's fully healthy, so that's always a good thing as well. Um, so definitely put him in your lineup. And uh, then you've got Jonathan Stewart at running back. Now, the nice thing about Jonathan Stewart is that he's really not going to be challenged by anybody for snaps. Mike Tolbert might be out there on occasion, but I don't really think that we're going to see much of anybody else out there. So I do think Jonathan Stewart makes it as an RB2 this week, even in a difficult matchup. But uh, it's probably going to be a low end running back too. I wouldn't expect a huge game out of Jonathan Stewart. Maybe he gets into the end zone, uh, but he's probably going to be something like, you know, 70, 80 yards, something like that. Maybe a couple of catches kind of a thing. So uh, decent numbers, but I don't expect a huge game out of him. Now on the other side of the ball, we have the uh, newly acquired uh, quarterbacks here. No, I guess actually I take that back. Trevor Simeon isn't new, newly required, acquired. He was picked up in the draft in 2015, and he actually is now going to be starting for this Denver Broncos offense. Obviously, uh, Peyton Manning retired, 
So, uh, you know, you got to find somebody else out there. Unfortunately, this is all they've got. Uh, I'm not sure that Trevor Simeon is really in the consideration for a fantasy starter at this point. Even in a two-quarterback league, I don't think he makes it into the top 24. So, uh, especially in this matchup, Carolina, uh, although they are going to be without Josh Norman this season, obviously, because he left for Washington, I still think that they have so many uh, good things on their defense. They've got a decent pass rush. The linebackers are very good, things like that. So they're going to be able to force some some problems, I think, for opposing quarterbacks still. Trevor Simeon, we haven't seen anything out of him other than him looking pretty bad in the preseason. So I'm not real excited about him. Wide receiver-wise, Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders both struggled in the Super Bowl. Sanders obviously had a much better game than uh, Demarius Thomas did in the same matchup. Although Demarius Thomas also saw a lot of Josh Norman. Look at DeMarco Murray, by the way, on your screen. Damn, son that spin move. Anyway, um, I, I do think that uh, both these guys are fantasy relevant this week and really every week until proven otherwise. Yes, Peyton Manning is not the quarterback anymore, but, but again, Peyton Manning was one of the worst quarterbacks in the league last year. Uh, same with Brock Osweiler. When they were out there, they were among the worst quarterbacks in the league. I don't think Trevor Simeon is like comparable to them. And that's not what I'm trying to say, but I don't think it's going to be a huge substantial drop off. And both those guys were, you know, wide receiver two, high end wide receiver threes on a week to week basis. So uh, keep them in your lineup if you can. At tight end, we've got Virgil Green, who I think is going to be getting some work here earlier in the season. Sounds like he and Trevor Simeon have actually gotten pretty comfortable with one another, so that's always a good thing. He's a sleeper tight end this week if you're looking for somebody. And then obviously C.J. Anderson at running back. Now, I don't love this matchup for C.J. Anderson either. The Carolina defense is pretty damn good. And obviously, uh, you know, he did have a good game against them in the Super Bowl. He had 28 total touches, 90 yards, uh, and he did score a touchdown as well. And with Ronnie Hillman not there, I guess he is probably going to be getting a lot more touches. Now look at DeMarco Murray, by the way, nearly failing there at the end of the game, dear God. But um, again, I, I do think CJ Anderson checks in as a running back too this week. So, uh, you know, put him in there if, if you need him. Devontae Booker, Benny Fowler, like none of those guys are really too exciting at this point in the season, but there's, you know, somebody that you want to keep on your, on your radar here at the end of the season. But uh, prediction for this game. I'm going to go with Carolina. I think this is going to be a 24 to 20 victory for the Panthers in week one. Let me know in the comments section below, though, guys. What do you think about this game? If you have any questions about fantasy this week, let me know in the comment section below. I'll probably do some of more of this type of stuff throughout the season. Uh, so let me know if you enjoyed this video. Again, just kind of a random thing, breaking down some of the fantasy stuff through the for, uh, for week number one. So again, let me know in the comment section below if you guys liked it. And if you did, be sure to drop a like on it. Please subscribe to the channel as well if you are new. I would greatly appreciate that support. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.